Hi everyone. Um, just adds up. I don't know if I want to post this right after it. I do my um Warlord of Mars review or this week. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the space launch and my thoughts on it. They went to the um spit when they went to the space station. I thought about filming when they get back too, but we'll see. Anyway. I'm to, you're the villain, which I'm, I'll, I'll get into it when I get into the pile. Um, this is, this is a, a video about all the little tie-ins. Tie-ins? Tie-ins, Dad. Oh. The tie-in issues. Okay. Okay. Hope you all enjoyed that guest appearance by my stepdad, Jim. Yeah. That was a rare appearance. Yes. Okay. In this little offshoot, there you go. Captain Cold essentially takes over the issue. He doesn't get thrown into some, um, alternate thing owned by the Time Masters, but it, it was, I, I think it will have the same effect in 10 years, everybody's going to forget about it. I'm, I'm rough, I reference a, Episode of Legends of Tomorrow. That, that they never explained. But then again, they, they never explained the... If you look at it, they never explained half of the season finales. What was up with that dinosaur? But that, that's a... I'd like to think that Rip Hunter's cleaning, up, cleaning them all up on the side with Booster Gold. But that's a story for a... That's a theory for a whole nother video. Right now, we're talking about The Flash and Captain Cold. Yeah. I like King Cold, which is what they call this version of Captain Cold. He is using Muir Master's technology. He tries to take over the city. He actually shows some initiative. All of the Year of the Villains, I'll give them this, definitely showed initiative from the characters themselves. And whoever thought of it definitely knew how to move the plot forward. Be it Bendis or whoever. Definitely knew that we need something to fill the gap between Wally West having a piece of Dr. Manhattan and Dr. 
and whatever they're calling, um, God, 5G or whatever. Yeah. And this one, the next one, this actually happens. There is actually a battle between Flash and Captain Cold and Captain Cold. Or Commander Cold, whatever. He dies anyway. But it actually happens. And you you all know, I love it when the covers don't just lie to you. So you know I like that one. Now, I should be clear. Commander Call, this one, doesn't die in this issue. What happens is Golden Glider breaks Flash out of where he's being capped in the Year of the Villain thanks to Lax Luthor fused with Marsh and Man on her. And that right there is why I think, as cool as this storyline is, it will be forgotten in 10 years. Because I just said the sentence, Lex Luthor combined with Martian Manhunter. Because try explaining this whole storyline to a non-comic book fan, you can't do it. We didn't pick up any more flashes until it, it returned to its proper numbering. But this, they tried to enlist the help of the Weather Wizard. And that's all we got on the, on the, um, that storyline, Year of the Villain. That, that is not the main story. I'll be doing the main story next time. Once I read it, read what I have of it anyway. I, I'm still really excited to see how they tied up Rep Hunter. I heard they did that and how what was up with the sigil in the sky and these fine books. That, that will explain it, I'm sure. Because they were all like, Look! Up in the sky! There's a sigil! They called it the night the sky went dark. Which, I guess, after this, or during this, after or during, there was that big fight in Schuster Park in Metropolis, the, um, in the, in the Superman comics. But, I'm not sure when... If, if this is all taking place in one night, or like three different nights. Because I'll get... Luthor has always been portrayed as smart, so... Yeah. This, I decided just now, will be getting its own separate video. Sorry. We'll be getting its own separate video. I have a few important questions and 
maybe I'll whine some more about the TV show if you all if you all want to hear my theory about Legends of Tomorrow and where it's going. But that's neither here nor there. And also next time, Flash returns to its proper numbering, like I said. I'm ex I'm excited, you should be too. You know, Mom, there was no mention of the um, Batman who laughs in these Year of the Valentines, was there? Not that I know. Oh. Which, you'll see, he he's like one of the main villains in the main storyline. Which, that's weird. That's like having... Al no Alexander Luther in, like, any crisis tie-ins. Crisis on I Infinite Earth. Yeah. They can't rewrite that story without... They couldn't rewrite that story without him. And, um... All I do know about it is that they kill off Earth-12. Anyway, I think I'll stop talking to nice people and just shut off the camera.